Hi everybody, today uh, we will be giving an introduction to SAP HANA Studio which is used to connect to SAP HANA systems. SAP HANA systems are in-memory based appliances. The software is provided by SAP and the hardware app is provided by certified vendors like IBM, HP, Fujitsu, Cisco, etc. And uh, since the database in SAP HANA system is mainly stored in the memory, the database access is very much faster than accessing from the hard drive, which is a traditional way. And SAP HANA systems has support to ODBC, JDBC, MDX drivers. And uh, we can e extract uh, data from other systems such as other ECC systems or uh, Excel files or text files or from data providers. In this screen, you see the SAP HANA Studio screen and I have opened a window called Navigator. If it is not open, we can go down here, click here and then open the Navigator. Uh, we see that there are three systems here. Actually, two of them are same. These two are same systems. But in this, I am logging in as uh, a user called system. To this, I am logging in as a user called TJs. And this is a different system. So, in HANA, if I have, I can create in I can create connections in Navigator where I can log in into the same HANA system as different users as well, or I can create multiple HANA systems like development, quality, and uh, production systems here. And uh, when I go to one of when I click on one of the systems, I see a folder called catalog. And uh, if I want to create more folders, I can go here and then click, click on folder. Under the root folder, I can create a folder called uwinpro. Under uwinpro, I can create another folder. It's under uwinpro. I'm creating a folder called training. And another folder under UVIN Pro Consulting. I can more create more subfolders. So, if I have a large company with multiple, uh, multiple, multiple divisions, I can create folders and create my HANA systems under those folders. Create connections to my HANA systems under those folders. Or what I can do is I can move one of the HANA systems connect HANA system connections I created to that folder. So now this HANA system is under the folder UVIN Pro training. When I open this, I see only catalog. When I open the catalog, I see two ma one main folder called authorization and I see schemas here. Under authorization, I can create users or I can create roles. If I click on the folder, if I open the folder users or expand the folder users, I see a user called Scott. So if I double click to see the properties of Scott, I see that Scott is granted a role called public. That is by default, but no SQL privileges, but he is given an analytic privilege which is created under the package called uwin pro and the name of the name of the analytic privilege is this yes so he has access to that analytic privilege so whatever is allowed for him there or allowed in that analytic privilege he will have access to then we have system privileges package privileges i can map this user to a role or i can create a new role i have different roles i have a role called modeling to modeling role has been given more privileges and the modeling role have access to root package we have a we had a user here called TJs so if I go to TJs I have a tables here I, I have a folder for 
folder to store his tables. I have uh, some tables created here. Table can be created by many ways, mainly three ways. I can just say new table here. Then I can assign the fields. I can define the fields here. Or I can I can go to an SQL editor and type the statement to create the folder. Even after creating the folder, I can I, I can after creating the table, I can go to I, I can go to an SQL editor and then add data into that. I will open a table called seller cell grade. Double click on that and see the definition of the table. I have three fields here. If I, if I right click and open data preview, I see some records. I can go to analysis view and then select some of the fields to show in a chart. Or I can show in a table. If I want to delete a table, I delete a table and I have two options delete the entire catalog object or delete only the rows. I cancel this. I will close this. I'm in administration console. I can do only administration. I can create users, I can create tables, but I cannot do any modeling. So if I want to do modeling, I have to be in a different perspective. And there are eight perspectives here. And I will go to a perspective called modeler. When I go to a perspective modeler, I see a different folder here called content. And I have a package created. I can create packages and give users or roles authorization to access those packages. And I have a package called Uwin Pro. Under the package, I have created attribute views, analytic privileges. This analytic privilege you already saw for one particular user called Scott so is, is, is given authorization for this. We saw it under, under his uh, properties. If I go to attribute views, I right click and I can create attribute view and I can give the name, description and I can select any type. Also you see a quick launch screen here which has shortcuts to create packages, attribute views, analytic views, calculation views etc. So if I highlight package and say create, I can create a package in an easy way. If I close this accidentally, I can go to help and then load it again. Quick launch. In the model view, I can do that. And uh, apart from navigator where I, I have a connection to systems, I have where I use list, properties, job log, history, progress, etc. So if I have a uh, for example, I have an uh, attribute view. If I want to validate this, I click on validate. I see the results here. So if there is any problem, it will show here. Here it, is, it says it is completed successfully. Apart from that, we have short icons here to do system monitoring for administrative purposes. And also we can create an open, you can create a SQL editor here. You can search for a table, find the system. If I have multiple systems, I have some shortcuts there. And also I have help and I can uh, do either quick launch or I can get dynamic help. I can check for updates. Apart from these windows, we can have a help window here and also we can have a cheat sheet. Analytic views and attribute views and also calculation views are created under modeler. Whenever I create them, they have the definition in the created in the schema. So I go to catalog, I go to a schema called sysbake 
and I have a filter here as at now so I will remove the filter so I see all the analytic views and attribute views created calculation views as well if I want to see the attribute views uh, any views created under the package called uwin pro I can filter and then type uwin pro u w i n p r o so these are the views created under the package uwin pro so this is what I wanted to tell you today about SAP HANA studio so in a nutshell it can it can do a lot of things we can do modeling we can create joints under modeler view uh, we can do system administration we can administer HANA servers HANA databases users a lot of things we can do through uh, through the SAP HANA studio thank you I hope you enjoyed